So yeah, firstly, thank you to everybody uh, for sparing the time uh, of your lunch breaks to join me for this uh, lunchtime uh, yoga session as part of mental health. Um, for anyone that's on the line, if you can just keep yourself on mute throughout, um, unless you've got some question you want to ask, and uh, I'd be more than happy to help. But certainly once we've got started, for sure, uh, with the sequence, then, then just keep yourselves on mute. And in terms of uh, Mental Health Awareness Week, the theme for this year is kindness, if you weren't aware already. And um, I've been running uh, a set, a series of uh, yoga classes, both for DEFRA group, so on Tuesday I ran a session, uh, but also on Facebook. Live. So on my Yoga Dad page on Facebook, I've been running classes from exactly this spot um, over the past four days, um, 8.30 in the morning, um, as part of like a morning stretch basically, so a 15 minute sequence, similar to what we'll do today. Um, I was also interviewed by BBC Radio Bristol uh, last night about the classes that I've been running. Um, spent about 10 minutes to talking to one of their presenters and um, it was really nice actually, really nice to be able to raise some awareness both around what I've been doing on Facebook, but also for the classes at DEFRA. So I really gave some good plugs to DEFRA um, and the work it does to promote and champion wellbeing across the organisation. Um, so, so yeah, so from that point of view, in terms of the sequence today, um, we're going to be seated. So just finding yourself a comfortable seat. Um, if you can, then unplug head headsets um, and just use the speaker and the laptop if that gives you a decent enough uh, audio quality. Um, um, and yeah, as I said, please put yourselves on mute. Um, I think I can hear one person crackling and I think it's on the uh, on one of my screens actually at the moment. So uh, if needs be, I'll, I'll just place everybody on mute just, just to make it easier. Um, so yeah, so we'll be, we'll be about 15 minutes in this sequence today. Um, it's also World Meditation Day, um, in case you weren't aware. And so I will um, start and end the sequence with just a short uh, meditation as well, uh, just to really get us into the right mindset for this. So before we get started with the sequence, has anyone got any questions um, they'd like to ask? Nope, perfect. Okay, so let, let's get started. So I'll just move myself a little bit further over. Okay, so move yourselves towards the front of the seat, and that could be any type of seat. This is just a cheap IKEA chair. Um, so, uh, you know, a stool, it's, it's, it's not anything special at all. So just find yourself in a comfortable position. And just placing the feet and really feeling them firmly grounding down to the floor. Palms across the knees and just closing the eyes. And as you close your eyes, obviously you lose that external gaze, but you open up that in internal um, opportunity just to really investigate how you feel today as you arrive into this space, in this virtual space that we've got together. And as we start just by tuning in almost to the wider environment that we're in, in our homes this afternoon, and just bringing some emphasis to the sounds that you can hear around you, but not necessarily holding on to those sounds, just allowing them to come and go, acknowledging their existence, but just allowing them to pass by. And just feeling that contact, palms across the knees, bum down onto the seats, and that grounding down again through the feet, and feeling that length that's created then all the way through the body. And as we arrive to the top of the head, just start an internal body, body scan. So almost imagining that you're drawing a, a line along and across the body. And just using that as an opportunity to explore how you feel today. How restless or still you feel this afternoon, your energy levels, emotional states that's brought you to this space together. Maybe even any aches or tensions you're experiencing, injuries or medical conditions that you're carrying, managing, and what that means for any intention that you set for your practice today. Because it's your practice, it's not mine, it's nobody else's that we've got in this virtual space today, it's yours. So just move, 
feel, sense, breathe in a way that works for you and nobody else. Now bring some attention to the breath. And just starting with those subtle movements of the breath, really feeling the ripple in the belly, or in whatever part of the body the breath feels like it arrives to. Each time you breathe in and out. Now taking a deep breath in through the nose. And really feeling the body lifting up, energy and vitality entering through all corners of the body. And each time you breathe out, just really feel that you're sinking down, body softening, skin softening, weight melting away towards the floor. And just continue to do that for a few breaths, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Each time breathing in energy, breathing out any worries, any tension you're experiencing in the body. Now bring some attention to the mind. So when we arrive into this space together, we may find that we've just come from another meeting, maybe an important piece of work that's just been filling our mind all morning. And that can cloud our ability to just focus just for this small amount of time that we've got together. So where possible, as we did at the start with the sounds and the body contact, just acknowledging any thoughts as they rise up and fall down. And where possible, just allow them to pass by, almost as though it's a passing cloud in the sky. And where possible, bring an attention back to the breath, back to those sensations in the body. And that feedback loop of the body and the way it relaxes, the breath and the way it lengthens and deepens and the positive effect it then has on the mind. A nice soft gaze opening the eyes. So from here, we'll just start with some subtle movements. And we'll start just by rolling our shoulders forward and up and back and down. Almost imagining that we're drawing circles across the top of the shoulders to either side of the room. Maybe we're running our hands up and down our thighs as we go forward and up with the shoulders and back and down. And maybe even integrating the breath as we go forward and up, inhaling and exhaling as we fall back and down. And just really exploring any tension we might be holding across the collarbones, top of the shoulders, across the neck. And seeing what this does just to ease some of that tension. Now bring the shoulders back to a neutral position after the next rotation. And just shrugging the shoulders up towards the ears as we inhale, and then exhaling to release the shoulders down. We do that twice more, inhaling to lift up, and exhaling to back down. One more time, really feeling any last tension, just leaving the body as we exhale back down again. Now we're gonna take our chin to the chest this time, and just feel the length now along the back of the neck. Taking our right ear across to the right shoulder, tilting the head back, and then left ear, left shoulder, and back forward again. We do that twice more in this direction. Really exploring, again, that tension, but also the space that can be created just through using the weight of the head. Embracing any cracks or creaks you might hear, each time you rotate around, but of course, if it becomes uncomfortable, any sharp pains, then just ease off from the rotation. And back to the center again, chin to chest. This time, left ear, left shoulder, tilt head back, right ear, right shoulder, and down. Twice more in that direction. And maybe even pausing for a moment. You really feel it deserves that attention for the stretch in a particular part of the neck. And then back to center again. 
lifted our head back up. Now we're going to take our arms out to the side, a great big stretch all the way out. And as we do so, just really turning the thumbs away from the body, just creating that little bit more space across the chest and the shoulders. As we extend out, reaching our fingers out either side, we're then going to take our arms and wrap, it, wrap them around ourselves and give ourselves a big hug with the right arm on top of the left. Inhaling now to open up again. And as we exhale this time and give ourselves a hug, we'll have the left arm on top. And then extending out, right arm, this time over the top of the left. And we'll hold it there just for a moment. And just start walking the fingers around the back towards the shoulder blades. And just as you do so, really feeling that opening up across the shoulders, space that's created between the shoulder blades. And just easing any tension across the upper back. Inhaling now to open up. This time, left arm on top, give yourself a big hug. Inhaling to open. Right arm on top, big hug. Inhaling to open, left arm on top, big hug. And hold. And again, walking those fingers round, as far as possible. And really directing the breath into any space that's available across that upper back region. Inhaling, great big stretch out to the side and hands back across the knees. Okay, now we're going to reach the right arm up this time. Almost imagine that we're kind of plucking an apple from a tree. As we reach up, we feel that length now all the way along the side body down towards the hips. We lower that right arm, take the left arm up, feeling that stretch now on the left side, and we just alternate. And as we reach up, we feel like we're grabbing and reaching all the way up towards the ceiling, reaching up towards those apples at the furthest height away from us on the tree. And all of the time, just creating that little bit more space for the body on the side of the upper body. But also as we integrate the breath with that movement, the space for the breath. One more on either side. And then back down again. Now I'm going to sort of turn myself onto the uh, side, but you stay facing forward. And uh, a little bit. Okay. All right, let's make sure you still see me. Okay, so I'm going to place my palms back across the knees. Nice long straight, uh, spine, straight back. Crown of the head reaching up, tailbone grounding down. Pressing the palms across the knees now. Inhale as I look up, so chin up towards the ceiling and I'm opening my chest up between the upper arms and arching the spine, tailbone pointing back. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding the spine back. You've got a back on your chair, you might find you can round all the way back to, the, uh, to that point. Really feel as though you're tucking the tailbone under, and then we do that for four more breaths. Inhale and look up, chest forward. Exhale, rounding spine back. It's a great movement of flexing and extending the spine just to ease any tension along the full length. Upper to lower back. But also space across the chest. And the way in which we can integrate the breath with that movement, just to support any release in the body. And also really focus the mind on that movement, those sensations we're experiencing. Now bringing the head back into a neutral position again. I'm gonna stay sideways on again. I'm just gonna clasp both sides of the chair. Okay, so mine's just a stool. But just using that by, by placing the hands underneath the chair, this is a bit of a lever. Rounding the feet down through the floor, really feel as though the heels are kind of allowing you to create that little bit more length in the body. And then we're gonna reach our head up again, so chin towards the ceiling, straightening the arms, Allowing that space now across the chest and the shoulders again, arching the spine, and then exhaling just to release. We'll do that twice more. Inhaling, looking up towards the ceiling, space across the chest, exhaling back down. And one more time. And then back down again. Okay, now we're taking ourselves back round to the front. And so from here now, we'll cross our right leg over the, uh, cross our right leg over the left, and extend our arms up and overhead. 
And as we do so, we'll then twist around towards the right hand side. So we'll allow our left hand just to come across the right thigh and just the right hand placed around the uh, back of the chair. And just really feeling that length now all the way along the spine. And if it feels comfortable, shifting the gaze across the uh, back shoulder. And then lifting the arms up and overhead and back down again. And across the left, leg over the right, inhaling up, feeling that length along the side body and then rotating around now to the right hand side. So right arm across the uh, outside of the left thigh and using that left hand again. Just provide that lever for the twist. Great way of ridding toxins out of the body. Lateral movement for the spine. And then back to center again. And back down. Okay. So from here, we'll, um, let's see, what are we gonna do next? Um, we'll just take our feet and uh, knees just that little bit wider than the hips. We'll clasp our hands out in front of us. And as we do so, we just start rotating around in one direction. Almost imagine it was stirring a pot soup that we might be having for lunch. And just exploring any of that release that's available across the hips and the inner thighs. And really using the upper body weight just to support that release. We'll do a couple more in this direction. Really maintaining that length along the spine, that openness across the chest and then back round to the centre. And we go in the opposite direction. And supporting that release by inhaling to lengthen. Exhaling as we deepen down between the thighs. We often store a huge amount of tension across the hips, particularly when we're sitting for extended periods. It's a great way to release some of it. Okay. Back round to the center again. And so from here now, we'll just bring ourselves back in again. We'll just bring ourselves back towards the front of the chair. And in fact, actually, I'll go sideways on for this as well. Actually, it's probably better. So we're just gonna go that little bit lower now, all the way down towards the feet. And in fact, I might just uh, turn these laptops down just a little bit in terms of the screen, just so you can see the floor. You can see my feet. And so again, I'm sitting towards the front of the chair and I'm just going to extend the left leg out. So really feel as though you're grounding down through the left here, okay? Right knee bent, so to provide some support and then inhale into lengthen. We lift our arms up, really feeling that length again all the way along the upper body, down towards the hips. As we exhale, we fold forward. We bring our left fingers across the left toes and our right forearm across the right thigh, okay? Now just start tuning into those sensations along the back of the left leg. Now if it starts feeling really strong, often we've got very tight hamstrings, calf muscles, that type of thing, then just bend the knee or keep the hand that little bit further up the, uh, the leg to provide a comfortable position but also to maintain that length in the spine and all the way to from the uh, crown of the head. Now I'm going to go that little bit deeper and we're going to hold this for about 10 breaths or so. And again, maintaining that length along the spine, you'll see I'm lifting my head up, maintaining that space across the chest, as much as anything for the breath, so we can direct that release all the way along the back of that left leg. As we ground down through that left heel, we were tracing a line all the way back up the left thigh, towards the left hip socket, maximizing that length that's available to us. Holding for a couple more breaths. And then slowly, subtly bending that left knee as you lift yourself back up again. And then we'll do the same on the opposite side. So right knee out to the side this time. Um, right leg extended, right heel in towards the floor. Toes pointing in towards the uh, right shin. Bending that left knee. Inhale to lift the arms up and overhead. Shoulders away from the ears, nice and relaxed in the upper body. Exhale to fold forward, left forearm across the left thigh, Le uh, right hand, right fingers to uh, right toes, or again, to a point at which feels comfortable to you to allow that length to be maintained in the upper body. 
And once more tuning into those sensations now all the way along the back of the right leg, might feel different to the left. And again, directing the breath to support that release to enable you to deepen into this stretch. Holding that for about another five breaths. Again, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose or out through the mouth, whatever works best for you. And just being curious about those sensations and how they might evolve, how they might change as you deepen into the stretch. A slight bend in the right knee now as you lift yourself back up again. I'll turn myself back around to the centre. I still think you can pretty much see me. I'm not to this laptop a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay. There. Okay. So I'm just moving myself back a little bit further in the chair, holding on to the sides of the chair, just lifting the right leg up, and just start gently rotating the toes around. So imagining that we're drawing a circle across the opposite side of the room. Just feeling that full range of mo uh, movement that's available in the ankle. But also that lengthening across the uh, top of the feet, all the way down towards the toes. And just draw any shape that works, works well for you. Okay, taking that right foot down, we'll do the same on the left. Again, you might find one side is very different to the other. Still maintaining that length in the upper body to really feel as though you're lengthening up all the way through the crown of the head, nice straight back. And again, exploring that full range of movement down the left leg. Bring the left foot down to meet the right. And we'll just bring ourselves back forward in the chair again. And placing our palms now across the knees one final time. I'll just adjust that laptop again on this side, just so you can see me. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're back where we started. So we place our palms now across the knees again. And closing our eyes. You're feeling that grounding down again through the feet, through the floor. A body contact through the seat. And by pressing the palms gently into the knees, length and extension along the arms. Shoulder blades rolling down the back, just to create a little bit more space across the chest. And by lengthening from the crown of the head, tucking the chin in towards the chest. We just maximize that length all the way along the spine, all the way along towards the base of the skull. We bring our attention back to the breath one final time. So checking in with that subtle movement of the breath on each inhale and exhale. Breathing in energy again, breathing out any last worries, tension you may be experiencing. At the end of this class, the means by which those feelings, those sensations, the subtle movements of the breath in the body have allowed you to create some more space, to provide an inner sense of calm in body and mind, and an opportunity to prioritize your health and well being together in this virtual group this lunchtime that hopefully will set you up, will re energize you for the rest of the day. Nice soft gaze, slowly open the eyes again. And just bringing the hands now into a prayer position in front of the chest. Thank you for joining me today for this lunchtime session. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Um, I'll be running Facebook Live classes um, tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m. Just follow my Yoga Dad page if you're interested. I may well carry on doing that from next week. But otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day. Look out for the other wellbeing related events on um, later today. I think there's a virtual wellbeing quiz starting um, just after one. And also, the permanent secretary tomorrow has a session um, this afternoon on with a wellbeing focus for the All Staff call. Anyway, enjoy your day and uh, thanks for joining me. Namaste.